All right, I promise you guys I'd tell you how I accomplished keeping my, um, it's not really a module, it's a card. This is a resistor card. It's a bunch of resistors built on it. The uh, device that divides the uh, voltage up by throwing resistance in the circuit to speed up or allow your blower to speed up or slow down. Okay, I'm going to show you the components I've added to this. This happens to be on an Astro van. It can be generically done on any other vehicle you want. This is the relay I put in. And I've got a power supply, the red wire, which just kind of nonchalantly cross over the back. I gotta slip that in a piece of conduit later on. And then it comes in underneath here, attaches to this fuse, the externally mounted fuse. And then it goes over here to the battery supply. Okay, through the fuse, there's a 30 amp this way, over through the firewall, around the firewall, and over this way to the relay. Now this goes into the pin on your relay, as you'll see here is numbered on the top. I send the power in on the number 30. I think you can read that, maybe not. Let me tap on it, see if I can get it to refocus. There we are. On the number 30, there you are, number 30 line, that's the power supply going in. The other side, on the normally open side, which is the one in the late side here, that's uh, number 87, hard to read. That goes to the high speed, or actually to the blower, power feed, okay? I'll explain that in a second. The other two here are the command to turn this solenoid on. One is grounded, you can see the green wire up here. The other one receives a signal from the switch mod wire that comes in in this loom. Now you can trace that. You gotta check on your dashboard or you can come out here and just start playing around with it. Hope you can see it's down in there. There's the plug that goes into the blower. And I'll try to zoom in on that for you. There we are, okay. Here I put a splice on it there. So you, the red wire is the uh, power going uh, to the relay, or to the blower motor from the relay to turn the blower motor on high speed. I thought there might be a feedback problem because I did not disconnect the high speed feed wire coming off of that module, that, re that resistor module underneath the dashboard. I figured, well, there might be a feedback problem there. There isn't, it's not a problem, it doesn't care it's going to try and send 12 volts at a higher amperage as well as this wire is going to be doing so at the same time. It doesn't matter. When it goes into lower speeds, the 12 volts that's coming into the high speed here from my, my add-on does not backfeed the system and cause it any problem. So you got the yellow wire there. I forget the color of these things. I can almost see them here with the light in the way. You got a yellow wire, a bluish wire, uh, I think that's a black wire with an orange tracer and another wire. Anyway, those are your various speeds, okay? The high speed is that big orange wire going into that connector. That goes directly to the blower without going through a resistor bank. Those resistor banks are a joke. They're expensive. They're hard to change. I hate doing it. There's a little 5.5 millimeter socket. And uh, it's a stand on your head situation. Unless you want to take the the whole front of the car apart. These vans are packed really tight. The trailblazers aren't so bad. There's a lot more room, room under the hood to play with. But this one here, I decided I ain't buying no more cards for this thing. So anyway, there we are. Uh, I've got another problem with this vehicle. It likes to give me an occasional problem with number five cylinder acting up, and I'm working on it. And uh, it goes into P0305. Only if the engine is warmed up, shut down for at least an hour and then try to restart it and then it misses on number five cylinder heavy i've done a composition sensor i've done a rotor the cap was brand new was put under less than three months ago i ohmed out the wires i used my uh, uh my distributorless ignition test my dis tester each wire is feeding approximately 8600 volts down to the plugs they're all all conductive. Number five cylinder is way down there. 
first one on the back bank. Uh, really mean to reach on these things. Um, anyway, it's a through the wheel well type situation. Anybody got any hints? I'd like to hear it. I've run a compression test. I've run a cranking test. It's got a brand new Vortec. Um, uh, the um, the new long spiders with the injectors on. I forget what they call that one. It's a new style Vortec. Gas mileage went up monstrously. By the way, while we're here, I'm going to talk about this for a second. Because this is something that I think everybody would be interested in. Ignore the mouse turds. This is the distributor hold down for these GM distributors. The cam uh, um, retard is built into it. You can't do anything about it. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I drove this thing for years. And it got like 17, 18 miles to a gallon until it got up around 100 miles an hour and the gas mileage jumped up to 23. Can't figure that out. So I went ahead and I scanned it, my old snap-on brick. Said my cam retard was like 23.8 degrees. I did the, uh, the reset on the cam and the crank position sensor reset process and it never got any better than 28.3 degrees. So I said, what's the problem if I could rotate that distributor? So I took the, uh, the foot, hold down foot off of it, I don't know if you can see it here or not, and I kind of ground it round because it's, it's square keyed, so the distributor can't turn. So I ground it until it was a round one, kind of like the old fashioned ones around the standard Chevys, and uh, now you can rotate the distributor. I set it at zero, gas mileage jumped from 17 or 18 to 26 miles to a gallon around town and on the freeway. Uh, they built in this penalty. I don't know why. I think it's an OPEC thing. But anyhow, that's just to let you guys know that you can mess with it. It's, it's doable. You can just take that off, just slide it off your distributor, and then notch it out so it can rotate on the distributor, put it back on, keep it snug but adjustable. Adjust your timing to where your cam report or your, your, your scanner reports you're at zero or real close thereabouts. Clamp it down and watch your gas mileage go up. Just a point, just something to help you guys with. Uh, these are a booger to work on. I don't wish this on anybody. Let me see if I'm zoomed in or out here. Here we are. We're back out again. They're, they're just stupid. Anyway, hope that helps guys. See you later.